Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Sir Drinkslot. How you doing? Doing good? All right, let's get into this, shall we? Okie dokie. That's right, I did another fallout drink. Uh, this is Georgia Peach Green Tea Energy Drink uh, by Arizona. Uh, boost your energy, all the fun stuff. Have an ice day. I'm going to sit here for like five seconds so this becomes a thumbnail. Anyway. <laughs> Look at 180 calories, just like the last one. We're looking at zero sodium, but 26 grams of carbs. I don't have the can for the other one. That's what that way, so I can't check it. That's, that's not too bad, really. I mean, honestly, you know. Except... Daddy got no nails, cause he's got nervous problems. Take us along, get night. Tell you solve all kinds of problems. No, don't. It's it's a humor. I don't want to segue into this conversation. I don't want to segue into this conversation. I don't want to segue into this conversation. Okay, so we're gonna segue into this conversation. Um Ooh, I don't know if I really want to do this. I mean, it's not like I'm doing anything bad. So talking about a certain, um, it's the the new like, oh god, if I say it, it sounds bigoted, but that we're talking about the bigotedness and the whole um, I want to say woke culture, um, calling out people for their bullshit. I'm down been down for a long time um the problem is is that you basically come across the fact it's like how much smoke do you want you know and it's like well, if when you see a problem say there's a problem when you're gen x or when you're any generation that has been around it for long enough or any social structure when you're around something that you keep meeting an object that you find to be immovable you quit fucking with it or rather, you find a way around it so that, okay, you can still be there. Well, I'm going to continue on and continue my journey. Um, socially, economically, emotionally, physically, all that fun stuff. Um, if we can't fix a problem, we just bypass it. It's how fucking society is. It's really weird. If we can't find a solution, we find a workaround. That's peach. That's the peach right there. Who? That's good stuff. Okay, so what I'm talking about, um, um, very dear lady that I've followed for years. Um, she's amazing. Um, Lexi Wolf. She's um, author, uh, actress. She is. Um, for thespian, um, she's she's brilliant. Uh, if you guys ever get a chance, check her out. Um, she's she's on TikTok, she's on YouTube, um, she's she's amazing. Um, known her for years, and she's just the sweetest thing. Um, but um, from an interaction she had with somebody else on TikTok, I found out that a phrase that I always caught as you know, ah, well, what I said was true and has come to pass. <laughs> you know, uh, it's not that, it's it's the, it, it's well, but said three times. Normally, whenever I would hear that, I'm watching a British comedy. Um, it's usually a cop or somebody of authority who told you not to do something and you did it anyway, and they go, <laughs> I told you so. Problem is, that particular verbiage and connotation can be used. It has been used very, well, in the past, like, three to four years um, uh, to bash people, which can, it's a negative connotation anyway. I get that. The, um, it's been made to bash people based on uh, uh, assumptions of race. Uh, I'm curious.
I'm always doing good. Uh, eat some genki. <laughs> um, and she would laugh, and it would laugh, and we're like, oh, you know, her English skills weren't all that great either. But great teacher. Um, real, real cute, really adorable chick. I, I say chick, and it's derogatory, but she was really, really awesome. Um, oh, all my teachers were really great. But, uh, yeah, it was interesting to find that out. And so what's funny is that you could be using phrases, little catchphrases or whatever, or just things that you know that are short that somebody else might actually find offensive. Now, if it's a large group or if you know it, find other things to say. But it's, I, I, I want, I think that sometimes we can be a bit overly sensitive and we can put meaning, like, if another group can put meaning to something and make it negative, like, you know, fuck you, Brandon, or anything like that. I mean, as an example, um, however you feel about politics, I don't care. I'm just saying it's like that kind of thing. You make a phrase to mean something, which normally it's not like everybody's going to say it unless you know a Brandon. And then, but anyway, you know what I mean? That's, that's kind of what I'm getting at. So, I don't know. In the end, it's just kind of like you just have to. If you're, if you use it, and somebody says, "Hey, you probably shouldn't do that," get informed. I know we're going to be really easy to be like defend ourselves and says, "No, I don't," because especially when somebody says, "Hey, what you said can be considered as racist." Instantly, you're going to be like, "The fuck are you talking about? Are you calling me racist?" Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Nah, that's not what they're saying. Sometimes people come off, can come off call a little rude as well. But a lot of times, people will try to come off a little nicer. But I, I'm giving people way too much credit. So a lot of times, it's somebody wanting to accuse you of being something. So, then in the end, is it, it's, I don't know. I think it's frustrating. But this is awesome, by the way. Lucy, me done. Lucy. My nose is a little stuffed up. This weekend, I'm having a blueberry festival. So the, I, I don't, I never, never gone. Just because it's always in the damn morning on a Saturday. I'm not going anywhere on a Saturday morning. Unless you're paying me, feeding me, or... Uh, it's a little early in the morning for Saturdays. You know what I mean? Zoomies. Anyway, uh, four and eight. This is really, really good. This is this is awesome. Ugh. Trying to, f I still didn't actually find the. Uh, oh, two hundred and thirty-four milligrams of caffeine per per can. For some reason, I thought it said per case, and I'm going. Well, like 12 in that case. What I'll do is I'll buy like a pack of some drink that has four in each, like a 12 pack. I grab the three of the variety and then I leave the rest of the shop and the guys can just pick through them, you know. Uh, and if there's any left, I'll just take them. I'll just take whatever I want. But a lot of times I'll try to leave something for the guys to have them try so they, they have an idea of what they're looking for. I have a bag. Is he is. Yeah, so. Anyway. This is really good. I gave it a four and an eight. This is a really great drink. Uh, my brain is just, just spinning. So we we are we are we are wired, we are going, we're doing really well. I love this can. The the the, the art's really awesome. Um anyway. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you all are happy. Um, living your lives the way you like, being the best that you can be at the time. Don't stress. Don't overdo it. Be happy as you are. And if you're not happy, be to, I hope you get to a level where you're not down here. You ready to be here? But wait, we don't want you to be up here, is what I'm just saying. 
Anyway, y'all take care. And as always, I am Sir Grace Lott, and I'm wishing you health, wealth, and love with enough time and gusto to enjoy y'all down to the last. <clears throat> that was that was lame. I'm sorry. Drop. If I drop it, I'm not getting back up. So y'all can. No, just kidding. Y'all take care. <laughs>